Motivators of Misbehavior by Bethany Van Cleef. Theorist Rudolf Dreikers was a student and colleague of the famous theorist Alfred Adler. Many of his theories he believed were very applicable in classrooms, prisons, and with parenting, so he traveled around giving many speeches in his lifetime about his theories. Dreikers believed that people misbehave because they feel they do not belong or contribute to a social group, which he said were two things that are basic needs for humans. The first reason why someone misbehaves is to seek attention. A person just wants someone around them to acknowledge their existence. This can be spotted because the authority figure will feel annoyed with the behavior and will respond by reminding or coaxing the person to stop. However, it will start soon again after. An example of an attention-seeking behavior is faking an illness or being overly dramatic. If a person does not receive attention, they will move on to the second motivator for misbehavior, power. They are trying to gain power over the person that they view as the authority figure. This can be spotted because the authority figure will feel angered and threatened by the person. A classroom example of this is if a student continually defies the teacher by not doing what is asked or doing things even when they are told to stop. If a person does not receive power, they will move on to the third motivator, revenge. They are trying to enact revenge for what they feel that they have been wronged for. This can be spotted because the authority figure will feel both hurt and angry. In a classroom, this may simply be a student telling a teacher that they are the worst teacher ever. If a person cannot enact revenge, they will start to misbehave because they feel that they are inadequate. They feel that they do not measure up and are not capable of anything. This can be recognized because the authority figure will start to expect nothing from the child and not believe that they are capable of having good behavior. This can be noticed in a school setting because the problem is not what the student is choosing to do, but rather what they are choosing to not do. Drikers also theorize about the natural and logical consequences of actions. A logical consequence is a reasonable result for something happening. For example, if a child did not finish a worksheet because they were misbehaving, that worksheet may be assigned as homework. This is a logical consequence. Natural consequences are the things that naturally happen because of an action. For example, if the child missed the same worksheet because they misbehaved, the natural consequence would be that they would get a zero on the assignment. While Dreikers believed in natural and logical consequences, he also did not think that discipline was the best way to manage a group of people. He believed that if someone felt they belong and contribute to a society in the first place, it will help prevent the misbehavior. Most of Dreikers' theory was made with students in mind, so almost everything is directly applicable to the classroom. Almost all of Dreikers' theory is directly applicable to the classroom because it identifies ways that students act and why they misbehave. There are three steps that teachers can take to respond to the misbehavior. First, they need to identify the kind of misbehavior that is occurring. This can be done through looking at the things that the authority figure often feels during the certain types of misbehavior. For instance, if a child is continually tapping a pen on his desk, this, and the teacher feels annoyed, this is often an attention-seeking method. The teacher would then confront the student and explain why their behavior is unacceptable at that time. They would then redirect the student to have more positive behavior. Apart from this, teachers should make sure that they are building community in their classroom. This looks like taking time for students to talk to each other, giving them roles and responsibilities such as passing out papers or changing the day on the calendar. When they identify that a student is misbehaving and figure out what the motivator is, they can help assign these students to specific activities.